Hi everybody, this is Connie. I thought I'd do just a, a silly little um, deal, not a, not a get ready with me or anything like that, but I'm going to do a makeup of the day and show you what I'm wearing today. Um, so if you're interested in that, please stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. So, anyway, the first thing I did, of course, was um, I took a shower and washed my face with my gentle soap, my face soap. Then I put on um, my lotion, which is, as always, the Olay for sensitive skin. Then I went in and put on the Outlast All Day Primer by CoverGirl. I got this in a box, I believe. I never bought this because I don't hardly, rarely buy CoverGirl stuff. But um, anyway, and then I went in and I was going to use my MAC uh, Studio, Fli Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 in NW15, which I think is a little bit dark for me. I was given, got this in a giveaway um, probably a year ago. And so I shook it real well and I, I went to put it on. I thought I'd use a brush and this is the Pure Minerals. A blush, or brush that I got in a little kit um, not too awful long ago pro oh maybe about a year ago and first of all this brush sucks um, I will wash it and put it in for a swap or something if anybody wants it it sheds so then I went to I went to put this on with the brush and it all it did was smear it around on my face it didn't blend it it didn't put it down it didn't anything so then I tried it with my bloody bloody <laughs> oh shit a uh, beauty blender and it did the same exact thing so I have this up for grabs too in the swap shop um, deal I have a lot of stuff up there I will put their link down below it's it's Dawn or Cauliflower's group and uh, her and uh Kayla, no, I lost her last name. Brown, is it? Kayla, Kayla Burton. I'm sorry about that, Kayla. If you're, I don't know if you're sub to me or not. But anyway, um, I will put that up in in this group. Um, maybe somebody will like it and knows how to work with it better than I do. So anyway, I ended up taking everything off of my face, and I and I put on the the. Um, lotion again and I did the the primer again and I ended up putting on the dream wonder by Maybelline it's fluid touch foundation and it's got broad broad spectrum SPF 20 and it's in the color 40 nude and I think it looks very nice on my skin yeah you don't even hardly know it's on there I mean it, it really is a comfortable very comfortable it went on easy it blended easy uh, the color looks pretty good on me, I do believe. Um, so anyway, that's that. Then I went in and for cover, let's see here, where am I at? For concealer, I used my Bare Minerals Well-Rested Concealer. I really do like this stuff. It's the only thing that I use that it's in really a powder form, the mineral style. And um, it just kind of brightens up your... You know, it's not really a big concealer, but it brightens things up a little bit. It made things look nicer. So I'm going to take my glasses off for this next part. It's really hot in here. I am sweating. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so then I went in, and my brows, I used the Ulta Brow Tint in Light. Comes in a little tube like that, and it's just a little, little itty-bitty mascara wand type deal. And I tell you what, I will... This is all I'll ever use is the mascara type stuff for me. It is my my preference because of um, the way it goes on. It goes on very easily. It's easy to blend with, a, you know, just using my mascara brush. Very easy to blend in. Um, I think it looks fine on me. Um, I've got a lot of gray and blonde in my eyelashes or my eyebrows. I've hard, hardly ever had any really color in my eyebrows so this is nice for me I mean it's not a dark color it 
and I think they look nice. I don't know. I, I like it. Okay. So today was the first day that I used my Kat Von D and that I got from did I get this from Holt Look? Who did I get it from? Was it Holt Look? Uh, Fever Ray True Romance Eyeshadow. And if I can get it open. Okay, and that's what it looks like. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's it's kind of, they're brownish rose is what I would say. Got kind of that rosy color, but yet brown. This one's, this one's more brown. Whoops, this one's more brown. Um, but anyway, I used this this color here for the uh, all over my lid, but I used it for a highlight and I used it in the corner of my eyelid, or eyes. Then I went and I used this on my lid and the middle color there is the matte color. So I went and I used that for transition and for my crease. Aren't they beautiful? Okay, so then I just wanted a little pop of something. So I went in with the, this is, um, I must have got this in a box or something, but it's Au Naturel Palma Cream is what it's called, eyeshadow. And it's just like a gold shimmer type deal, a cream. And I just went in with my finger and put some on, if you can see, just in the, the middle of my eyelid, just to give it a little tiny bit of pop. Okay, for eyeshadow, or eye, for mascara, I use the Rocket, which is my all-time favorite. This is my holy grail. I mean, I have a lot of mascara, and I, I use a different one every single day because I don't want anything to get old without me using it. So I, I um, do a rotation on all my makeup every day. Every single thing I got, I use a rotation on. So anyway, this is what that looks like. A lot of people don't like these fat um, brushes, but I kind of do. I, I think that I they're easier for me to work with. Okay, so then for blush, I use the Milani Romantic Rose. Absolutely gorgeous. I, I went in and I was going to buy some more of these. I can't find them anywhere in my town. First of all, hardly anybody sells Milani. Even um, Walmart doesn't have these. And I hate, I hate Walmart. I refuse to go in Walmart. You guys all know that. But this here, um, they don't have. Nobody in town has this. And I want some of the other colors so bad. Some of the colors, something like this, the rose colors so pretty and I want them so bad and they're like ten dollars online on amazon.com so I don't know what I'm gonna do do without I guess okay for my highlighter I use Cindy Luminizer this was another Holt look that I bought so pretty so so pretty I love this stuff then I went in with all my um, pressed powder and just did my whole face. Last thing is um, liquid lipstick and it's by Be A Bombshell. It is called Hooked and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. It is going, um, I don't know, give me your opinion guys. Is something like this able to, am I able to swap something like this or not sell it or give it away? Um, Beings, I've only used it twice. Um, I have no diseases, nothing like that. But um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful color. But it is very sticky. It is very hard to put on for me, for my lips. Um, it stays very um, kind of glittery, shiny. It's it's very pretty once you get it on. But getting it on is such a bitch it's so th it's thick it's and I had it smeared all over the place just trying to get it on my lips I hate it so tell me what your opinions are on that you guys would you please because otherwise it's going in the garbage because I don't like it at all
Okay, that is it for my makeup look today. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. i am got several more hauls for you today. I'm going to be in the same outfit, same makeup, everything. I might change my lipstick, though, because I cannot stand the sticky on my lips. So I'll be right back with you with another haul. Bye-bye. Love you guys.